Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and today I'm currently in Swoop Site Boat Ramp that connects right next to the Ponce Inlet uh, Tower and the inlet itself that reaches into the Atlantic because uh, one of my viewers actually invited me to come here and uh, to go camp with them and uh, there's some Spoy Islands which you guys might see soon. I'm gonna actually draw from here you guys can see this. Uh, there's some little sport islands around the inlet itself. There is a tower. There's some dunes and there is the Something called disappearing island apparently when the uh, When the waters go down uh, Apparently a little piece of land shows up So, uh, so yeah, there's plenty of uh, little little uh, What you would call it points of interest in this area. So right now uh, this Boat ramp is not I mean that's Parking place is uh, yeah boat ramp is not that very big just pretty simple pretty straightforward the rumpa is over there let me go and check it out you guys can see it Whew, it's quite windy today for sure anyway here we have the boat ramp itself it's a nice and clean boat ramp actually I like it pretty clean all right it's got plenty of space for me to dock which I plan to do oh check that out what is that Check that out! <laughs> that is so cool! Alright. Okay, that is really neat. I like that. I like that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna, like I mentioned, I'm gonna go grab the drone, shoot drone from the air. Uh, there's some airplanes going by, so I will not be able to shoot the drone too high, but I should be able to at least capture some of the area, air, some of the aerial footage of the area. Give you guys a glimpse. Um, as I get that ready, I'm gonna show you guys right now on the map where I am at and where I'm headed there's like a little half moon shape part of the uh, sport island over there that's what they're gonna be staying at and I'm gonna be joining them and uh, yeah anyway let me go and get back to the car get my drone ready shoot it up All right, so I currently have my boat already packed up, and Miss Hannah, Mr. Chino's wife, is right there. They're parking up the car. They're parking up their boat right now, and that little boat's called Tequila. <laughs> nice name, because I do like tequila. That's actually kind of the kind of booze I brought today. Brought tequila with an 18 horsepower, four-stroke. Uh, Tohatsu, tequila, and here's Mr. Chino. You wanna say hello, brother? There you go, Chino Kaya, guys, if you guys wanna join his group. Pretty cool, dude. I mean, they're, they are packed. I mean, they are packed. And I thought I was overprepared. <laughs> I am not. All right, sweet, so, then I can hit the water. I'm gonna follow them, because this is my first time here. I have no clue where things are at, so I'm gonna follow them, they know. And yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, and we're out. They're over there. Let me go and catch them. The wheels are up. My transom wheels are up. No wonder they're gonna go anywhere. <laughs> Let me go and get it. All right. Alrighty, I was able to catch up to them with tequila. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a fun trip. I like this place. It's very, very, very serene. The waters are pretty chill. I bet it's windy today, so I bet it's gonna be crazy once we reach the area. So it looks like we're going south. Yes, we're gonna go south, and I'm assuming that we go east towards the coast. Yeah, I'll show you guys once we get there. I wanna show you guys this. We're turning left. 
and th th there's the Atlantic in front of us. I can literally see the Atlantic from here. Yeah. A little shaky, but yes. There's the Atlantic. That's the inlet. <laughs> that is really cool. And the weather is perfect. It's gonna be like 75, I think, at most. Perfect. Cool dude. You camp there? You camp in there? Wow, they camp in that corner. On the second floor, all the way up there. That is really cool. <laughs> on kayaks. That is awesome. I'm glad I came. I'm glad I was invited. All right, let's see what spot they're gonna pick. I'll show you guys that once I get there. Okay, we reached a spot where we can see the lighthouse. Let's see. There's the lighthouse. And there's the dunes over there. And I am swerving to the right. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I'm getting used to this new camera. I got a new camera. So I'm getting used to it. All right, here we go. Ah, there we go. Let me not crash. Nope. Let me just, okay. I, I'm gonna turn off the camera. I just wanna show you guys that. I'm gonna crash. <laughs> okay, I was told that would be the spot where they're over there where we gotta stay. And right next to the lighthouse. And man, I'm getting soaked. It's so choppy. <laughs> anyway, let me focus. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are parked right here. Literally in front of the uh, lighthouse. And look at this huge beach. Let me put you guys on normal uh, um, angle. And this is the part we're going to take right here. That's the spot. It is pretty big. I mean, there's some can be a lot of campers in this area and you'll be just fine I like it I like it so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get the uh, camping site set up I'm gonna shoot the drone because I want to capture the lighthouse I want to capture the Atlantic capture the dunes I'm gonna make the drone do a lot of work today <laughs> let me get to that all right so I finally managed to get my camping site set up I had to put two metal stakes down it was too damn windy, I had to use two of them. Because it wouldn't stay put. So as I said earlier, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the drone. I'm gonna allow the drone to do most of the work for this trip because it's very windy and the waters are very choppy. But I wanna enjoy this trip. I wanna check out that tower, the dunes, and shoot towards the Atlantic. I'll show you guys that. Let me get busy.
You know, even though I'm making the drone do most of the work, the drone did a good job. <laughs> I captured the uh, disappearing island right now has disappeared because uh, the tide is high at the moment, so it's not gonna show up. I'll show you guys that on the uh, on the drone shot. Shot it towards the uh, <laughs> towards the lighthouse. There were some people there saying hello. I'll probably put that up. You guys get to see that. Shot it towards the Atlantic, the dunes. And that's pretty much it about this specific area. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around. I wanna see what I can find what's around. And, uh, yeah, take some pictures and whatnot for the Facebook group. Yeah, let me get to that. Check that little entrance right there. I bet you could kayak that area when it's high tide. That's pretty cool. The water breaks in right through here. And right in here. How deep is it? Let's see. Let's see how deep this is. Hmm. That is a good foot and a half, easy. That is nice. <laughs> I'd be yep. I bet you could kayak this area just fine. Not too shabby. That is very nice. I could probably walk it. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk it. Yep. I just saw some crabs. I lost them. I don't want him to pinch my my toes. Heck no. I don't want him to pinch my toes. Yep, okay, I walked enough. I'm gonna walk towards the other side. <laughs> Currently, I'm just being curious. That's where we're at over there. Just checking the spot. Looks like the water, yeah, the water runs through here too. Pretty cool. I like that. And no crabs. I like that. I don't want to get pinched. <laughs> ah, this is nice. It's a nice little island. I, got, I like this spot. It's uh, it's very simple to get to. It reminds me a lot of Shell Key, which is not very far away from the boat ramp. It took us, what, 15 minutes to get here? That's it. So it's not like it's terrible to get to. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm gonna see what's up in that area. All right, so I walk from that corner over here to this corner of the island. And there's one thing I have to say is that this island is surprisingly clean for how much traffic you see in this area. People come and go all the time with their boats. People stay to camp. And you will think it'll be like filthy and dirty, but nope, it isn't. A lot of dead man of wars. Let me show you. I've seen like three of them. This is like number fourth. Oh, and look at the sand. It's like, it sinks. It sinks. Anyway, check it out. It's like a bunch of dead man of wars around. Yeah, that's like the number four I've seen. Quite a few of them. And the sand is like, <laughs> look at the hole I'm making. The sand is like very, very hollow for whatever reason. Like my, my feet sink. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and walk a little more and see what else I can find. But so far it's a pretty quiet uh, island, pretty chill. Not a bad spot to come and you know, hang out with some friends or by yourself. I like it. Well, I reached the other end of the uh, island, just more dunes. I bet people can cap in this area too. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna go head back to Mr. Chino's wife. I lived over herself at the campsite. I'm gonna go check her out. I believe Chino went to uh, the boat ramp to pick up some more stuff. Uh, I believe that tonight we were expecting a few more people to come join us, but uh, at the end, no, no one communicated and let us know if they're coming or not. And it is fine, to be honest with you. For those of you who watch my videos, I usually camp by myself, so I, I usually like my own company. However, having other companies is also nice. I'm gonna have Mr. Chino and his wife tonight, so we're gonna have some good time. Have dinner tonight, bonfire, a little bit of booze. <laughs> you know how it goes. All right, let me head back. So Juice went back to pick up one of his friends, and uh, this is their setup. Multiple tents. <laughs> Their style of camping is very, very different in mine, no doubt about that. I take the minimalist approach. They go all out. I mean, we take it like three trips back and forth into the boat ramp to pick up stuff. <laughs> they go all out. They will be here most of the weekend anyway. Uh, I'm only out here tomorrow. They're gonna stay until Sunday. Uh, I, I can see why they need stuff, but wow, it's different. Well, they enjoy it. I enjoy my style, they enjoy theirs. It's all good. All right, so right now, uh, they're setting up the tents, I gotta give them a hand. And later on, we're gonna you know, start dinner, start the fire. It's gonna be fun. 
a boat a boat hot dog stand with hot dogs ice cream sodas unbelievable that is like the coolest thing ever <laughs> i just have to record that and show you guys because that is pretty cool uh, unfortunately i didn't bring any cash with me I, I wasn't thinking of spending you know cash out here but that's kind of cool they have that all right anyway hope you guys enjoyed that okay so it appears that disappearing island is appearing again over there and i'm gonna go check it out I'm gonna literally jump in the boat, go over there and check it out. I don't think it's gonna be fully surfaced per se, but I wanna get near it. Alright, I'm gonna grab the boat, get ready. Okay, everyone, I am in Disappearing Island. Park right there. Our camping site is over there, so it's not like very far. It's pretty cool. Here it is, this is Disappearing Island. Usually on the weekends, this place we pack, but today is Friday. Not a whole lot of people today. <laughs> and right up in the middle where it says idle speed there's no idle speed in here there's barely any water it's nice I can see the appeal to it I, was, I didn't really get it like okay what's the point but I get it I get it I understand I understand the appeal people will come here and party have a good time yep I like it. It's nice. I came in here to see it. That's what I wanted. All right. I'm going to go ahead back. <laughs> Very pretty, actually. I wanted to come out here because that spot is like right next to us. We're over there. And then there's this spot over here. However, it's a little bit higher. Check it out. On elevation. Yeah. It's a bit higher of elevation here. Apparently, the water hits him high. But you can camp on the tops. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah. I want to show you guys that. <laughs> All right. So the sun is down. The fire is going. It's my favorite part. Good company. There you go. Yeah. I think Mr. Gino went to pick up some of his friends. Be here soon. I want to show you guys the towers over there. It's starting to light up. Let me see if you can zoom it. Yep. Side to light up. I think it'll get better when it gets completely dark. I'm gonna record that. I knew that it was gonna look better at night. Look at that. That is so awesome. Yeah. This place is beautiful at night, even more beautiful. It's gorgeous actually. Let me see if uh, you guys can see me, but I don't, I don't think you guys can see me, but see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Beautiful fire is going nicely. Okay, so this is the campsite. Completely at night, you can barely see it. <laughs> yep. It is dark. Heavens. This is the, uh, what you call it? This is the, what I see in front of me. The city is over there. There's the lighthouse over there. It's all dark. <laughs> Just want to show you guys that. I'm currently inside my tent. And I gotta say, that's not a bad view. <laughs> It's not a bad view at all. Good morning, everybody. Morning has arrived, and I gotta be honest, I could get used to that view very much. <laughs> well, right now it's 6.30 a.m. The sun will be up in a couple of minutes. I got the drone ready. So I wanna shoot the drone for the sunrise. Hopefully the clouds move a little bit more to the left so I can catch more of the sunshine. So yeah, in about five, 10 minutes, gonna shoot the drone. <laughs> Like a 
bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small I gotta say, <clears throat> it was a very successful trip. I got what I wanted out of this trip. They're gonna be staying here for the week, for the rest of the weekend. But myself, I, I gotta say, I enjoy. I got to see a new place, a new spot. Got to experience experience with new people. And you know what? This is good. This is good for an introverted person like myself to hang out with groups. It's uh, it's a victory for me, you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video informative and enjoyed it. Although this island, again, doesn't have any names, I dubbed it Windy Island. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Later.